Alex, welcome you to the program Need to Know. On this program, we'll bring in different celebrities and executives to talk about the things you really need to know about them exclusively. Please follow us on Twitter, AbotXNG, on Facebook, AbotXNG, and Instagram, AbotXNG. And for your complete entertainment news, kindly visit our online platform, www.abotxng.com. Knowledge, they say, is not static, but dynamic. Therefore, update your knowledge as we bring you one of your favorite artists, Project Fame Big Boy, Don Jazz's Blood, popularly known as... <laughs> I am that Tolu. <laughs> Tolu, how are you? I'm good. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you too. You look so handsome. Oh, thank I love you. The combinations. Oh, with yeah. The calves, the chains, oh. the shirt. Please, can I see your shoe? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's some very, Zara's right there. That's nice. How has it been with you? Good, great, great, awesome. God has been too good to me. Are you serious? Yeah, he has. Okay, tell us, what has been your story after Project Fame? Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I remember 2010 when I came for Project Fame, all the way from Kaduna. That was my first time in Lagos. And I came and I made my mark the whole of West Africa. That, then I was the people's champion. But unfortunately, I didn't win. <laughs> like, uh, why? Yeah. Do you know why? <laughs> well, my votes dropped at some point, but you know, I think that everything that happens to you in life is for a reason and yes. to learn and to grow. So I learned from that experience and I, I moved on. Uh, I started dropping music after Project Fame, I dropped Arewa and then five other singles, but I didn't get the recognition that I was looking for and nobody really, everybody felt Tolu went to hide or something, you know. And um, I almost gave up as of 2013, December, I went back to Kaduna to see my family and I, in my mind I was like I'm not doing this music thing anymore it's been four years since Project Fame and nothing has happened so um, I got a call from my friend Sean he works with uh, HP and uh, he's a great guy and he was like you know what I want to introduce you to somebody come back to Lagos and I was like See, boss, if you know a record if you don't get a record deal for me I know they come back or oh, that kind of thing but I was like see just I'll pay for your ticket, come back. And then he paid for me and I came back to Lagos. I went to stay in his house and he was like, okay, we're going to see someone. I was like, who? I was like, don't worry. Before you tell us who the person is, yes. at what point or at what time did you tell yourself that you can actually sing? Oh, wow. I've been singing since I was 11. So uh, I, I knew I could sing at a very young age. Then we're in a children's choir in Baptist Church in Kaduna, and they always push me forward. Oh, you with this girly voice, go and sing, go and lead the song. And uh, all the boys were like, you know, they were like, ah, this guy, your voice is so different, so tiny. And I was so little then, but I started singing. By the time I turned uh, 15, um, somebody noticed me from a church, uh, and he said, uh, come to Jam Mega Festival in Abuja and come and sing the national anthem. I didn't know how big that was. I went there, and lo and behold, it was a stadium. <laughs> a stadium full of people. And I was still very young, so I was very timid. I was like, oh my God, is this where I'm going to be singing? They're like, yeah, you sing the national anthem, start the program. I was like, oh my God. I almost peed in my pants. <laughs> but I sang the national anthem with all of my heart. I was nervous, but when I heard the roar of the crowd after the national anthem, I just knew that. Someone told me after then that you need to be doing this. Okay, this so is what you've been you chosen to, to do. From there. Exactly. Okay, so you were trying to tell us about your friend asking you to come to Lagos. Exactly. That um, he wants you to meet someone, mm -hmm. basically because he has listened to one or two of his songs and exactly. he's actually in love with it. So yeah. can you please continue? Yeah, so I was in my Kaduna Jeje and they called. <laughs> He called me and I went, uh, I, w I flew to Lagos and I was staying in his house and he was like, ah, let's go, we're going to meet somebody today. I was like, who? He was like, don't worry, it's a surprise. And then he took me to the Maven HQ. I didn't know that was the Maven HQ. And wow. And I walked in and lo and behold, it was Don Jazzy. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Out of all the things I thought would happen to me that year, I'd never thought seeing Jazzy up close and personal would happen. And I was so starstruck, I couldn't speak. I was, I was like, ah, guy, calm down, I'll be your guy. You know, Jazzy was just so down to earth. He was playful. I was like, oh yeah, Mika, I hear what you get. So I brought out my phone, we plugged it to the system, and I played my song. <laughs> Cause my heart belongs to you, my lover Like, ah, you get voice, so 
You just need to make we give you some Tiboro, add some Nigerian <laughs> vibe to your all this one. I mean, you won't go Yankee. Ne? I say, no, sir, no won't go Yankee. I say, hey, since you did Nigeria, do music for Nigeria. So that's how I started learning. Jazzy is now one of my biggest mentors. And then my friend Sean signed me to a record label okay. that he just started. It's called Ali Hills Records. So we're like a younger brother to the Mavens, so the Mavens help us out. So we're awesome. Okay. Things are good. What's the relationship so far? Oh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Jazzy, I'm always with Jazzy in the studio or with the Mavens 90% of the time. So learning from them and growing with them has been an amazing. It's a gift because, you know, I see the music industry more differently now from his perspective. So I understand what I'm up against. So I'm doing it, man. That's why I dropped Jamapel Tolu. And everybody's oh, like, okay. you know, ah, ah. Tolu Tishé, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, so Don Jazzy is like the most interesting person I've ever met. He's the most down-to-earth man I've ever met in my entire life. You know, for someone that is that accomplished to be so simple, that's just amazing. It's wow. amazing. Yeah. Don Jazzy, if you're watching this, you have a lawyer <laughs> and faithful guy in the house. Wow. And Bodex, I've actually changed my mentality. <laughs> my way of thinking about you is yeah. changed now. For your collab, do you pay? As in to collab with me? Yes. No, I feel if a, so if a song is beautiful and it's a big song, because when you hear a big song, you know. Yes. Yeah, you know a big song when you hear it. If it's a big song and um, it's a great, an artist that's going somewhere, whether it's accomplished yet or on his way there, mm -hmm. and he'll shoot a video, definitely I'll just jump on it. I don't get, I don't expect to be paid okay. for a collab. Okay, but what if you want other artists to do a collab for you? Do you pay them or? Well, a different artist with their own uh, needs and desires. There's some artists that if they hear your talents, they know that you're good. They will do it without any. I heard that Two Faces like that. I heard that um, um, Ice Prince is like that. If he hears your song, you have a great song, he'll jump on it. No, but some, well, every artist has their own different ways of doing things. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's go to February 14th. Yeah. Because I'm um, actually your great fan on Instagram. Yeah. There was a the time you posted a picture and you're like, okay, people should call you because you want yeah. to do VAR for ladies and yeah. all that. So, how was the turnout? Wow. Um, I don't think I've had fan feedback in my whole in <laughs> career put together <laughs> like that night. 13th of February, I put up a number. I was like, ah, call me. This, this is a Valentine's Eve. I want to give back to my fans. Call me. Let me sing to you. Okay. And I was getting calls from as far as Sudan, as far as Texas, as far as um, Canada. There's this one particular call I won't forget. I think it was from Texas. And she called me and she was like, um, hi, is this Tolu? I was like, yes, it's Tolu. She was like, oh my God. And I was like, okay, 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 relax. What's your name? Uh, she told me her name, but I can't remember now. As part of my special Valentine gift to you, I want to sing to you, can I? She's like, yes, yes, yes. However you feel, you feel, I want to touch you. Tell me what you feel like. Then she was crying even more profusely on the phone and she was like you just made my evening oh my god i'll cherish this thank you tolu god bless you and she started praying for me she was like you will blossom you excel i was like amen 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 all right so yeah. did you receive a mail call yeah i got a mail call okay. yeah there was this i think husband he's in lagos um he called me i was like ah chama i know say this thing now for women no, but <laughs> i bet if you sing for my wife it's valentine's <laughs> eve and he gave the phone to his wife and then i sang uh, i remember the song i sang uh, you and I will be as one. And I sang that to the wife and she was, she was so awed by it. She was like, oh my God, God bless you and everything. And then the husband thanked me. So that's, that's really good. I like that. This is your blink blink? Yeah. Is it original or just? Yeah, this is platinum. To... This is platinum. This was bought for me from America by Sean. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. How do you keep up with all this, your outfit, when you're going for a show, from yeah. your head to toe? How do you maintain it? Is this still the music or there's any other thing you're doing? Uh, it's a lot of sacrifice. Sometimes, um, because you, you don't want to overwear something, sometimes you just have to sacrifice. Sometimes money I want to use to go and groove or yes. chill or do movie, you sacrifice it, buy a shirt, buy something, buy a shoe, you know, because you know that as you go for shows, you will need to 
always represent. Yes. You understand? So even as an upcoming artist, you know, even if you've not started making money as such, yeah. you need to look a certain way that people yes. will like you. You know, people will say, oh, okay, he you looks, need to brand yourself. yeah, he looks okay. dope. <laughs> you know, so you have to look dope. So it's a lot of sacrifice on my part. Do you have pants? Are you now? Yes, I do. What, what color? Blue. Uh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I hear you. All right. So, whose support keeps your head up? Your mom, your dad, or your siblings? Well, my mom has always been there. She was like, you know what? Follow your dream. Believe in yourself. Don't let anybody tell you no. And you get there. And, well, here I am. Because my heart belongs to you, my love. Do you have a crush on any of our female artists? Yes. <laughs> I have a giant crush on Tiwa, even though she's taken. Please. Yeah. Tiwa, I'm please. <laughs> she's taken. I know she's taken. So yeah, my crush started not to do since, uh, since she. Oh, God, please. I'm not trust I'm only you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I've had that crush for a long time, okay. but Tiwa has before always been. Married. Before she got married. So, yeah. what's her relationship with her now? Are you guys yeah, close? Tiwa is my good friend. She's an amazing, humble heart and she's amazing she's meant to be a sister no friend she's a good friend <laughs> okay. she's a good friend there was a time that she she uh, we went i think we went to a dr sid's wedding and uh we're sitting down and then she's she was wearing this beautiful dress and i went up to hug her and say hi you look nice and everything and she was like she touched me on the face and said oh you look like trey songs you're so <laughs> nice you're so cute because i was wearing a suit then a full <laughs> okay. suit and everything now we took a picture and put it on instagram and that picture started trending it was like ah sitolo and tiwa sitolo and tiwa you know wow. so i sort of got to live my dream in a way okay so now let's <laughs> take it please tell us others Let's see, who else do I like in the industry? Ah, there are many hot females in this industry. Oh. But that Victoria Kimani's body do. I, I want to say more than that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, like, I like Cynthia's voice. She's, she's got a great voice. Just the voice. Oh, Cynthia. Uh, as a person. You are nice. I've been with Cynthia. <laughs> for excess. But I'm not going to talk for Cara. Cynthia. No offense, man. It's love. It's all love. It's all love. So you love Cynthia? Mm -hmm. No, as in one love now. Yeah, please. You watching the show. When next you see I am that Tolu, please. You guys should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then there's Nola that's a good friend of mine as well. She's, she's awesome too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you are left alone in your room yeah. with a female artist, yeah. who, that, who would that be? If I were to be stuck in a room with an artist, yes. maybe Kimani. Mm -hmm. Why? She's sexy. I'm, do I need to say more? What is your take on bloggers? Wow, I think bloggers are doing an incredible job. To all the bloggers out there, kudos to you guys. Thanks for So support. how do you feel when you say nasty comments? About you. It hurts. It hurts because uh, if you put up something about an artist that is not true, you're denting his image. Yeah. And what people see about an artist is very important, you know, to an artist brand. That's the video. <laughs> My lover. However you feel like. Fantastic video. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. But uh, I have a problem with something. Yeah. Uh, okay. The way you talk is different from your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The way you sing mm -hmm. is the same thing with the way Julius Agu talks when he's ranging his coming. <laughs> yeah. So explain to us because I don't understand the magic. Yeah, you know, talking is, is basic, it's natural to every human yes. being, but um, some of us are blessed to have a, a duality in our voices. So if I, I can be talking to you like this now, I'm like, I can be talking to you like this now. Do you understand? It's, yes. it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a gift. That's why they call it talent, it's from God. So some people can take their voice and shape it and mold it and give you something beautiful. So, okay. it's, it's so you always maintain that particular key from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Okay, I mean, in that video, I watched it very well. <laughs> you were kind of holding and grabbing all the girls. How did you feel? I know who I man. I'll be mad. Mm -hmm. okay. And she was wearing a tongue. <laughs> so, I don't know. I said to be very father. But, <laughs> yeah, she was very professional. She's a professional lady. She's a good vixen. Her name is Ruth. 
and she did her job well because what I was trying to emphasize in that video was passion. You know, everybody knows the love that makes you uh, butterflies in your stomach, you're thinking about the person, but there's another kind of love that wants you want to hold the person, you want to touch the person. So that's what I wanted to show you, that's some passion. And she helped, she made it work. Everybody I saw that, you like... Did you go beyond that? No, I keep it strictly professional. Okay, so now let's talk about um, Marvin's crew. Yeah. We have Corey J, we have a Jija, we have a we Ricardo. Ricardo. Banks. We can't do it. Okay. What's your relationship with them? Uh, they're my friends. They're amazing. Um, Corey, DJ, Ricardo are talented. Okay. You know, and especially, um, I, I, don't, I don't have a, like, a bias or anything, but Ricardo, the way he writes his songs really strikes me. He's, he's a very good lyricist, you understand? Okay. So I, I like the learning from all of them is, has been amazing. And then DJ is also my buddy from Kaduna. She's also was born in Kaduna and stuff. So we have that close relationship. She's an amazing person, generous, very caring. And so they're all wonderful people. All right, so if there's anything you would like to change about the industry, what would that be? Hmm. I think I would change the fact that upcoming artists struggle so much to get heard. I think that's the one thing I want to change, to give a platform for people that are not recognized, people that are talented and want to do music, to be heard without struggle. Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to do. Do you have a girlfriend? I'm in a serious relationship with my pretty ones. No. My sons, my pretty ones out there. No, no, we don't want cheating. Do you have a girlfriend? We don't want cheating. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, for me it's just about music now. It's my pretty ones and my music and my beautiful ladies out there. Please don't get to say it. What is your advice for yeah. uh, aspiring artists who do not have the privilege? Don't stop showing yourself. Keep showing people what you're made of. Keep showing your talent. Please let's go for a break and check out some of the cards I am that only received on February 14th. to know yeah. she told you about telling us that you have another song coming out yeah. single or video single um i just dropped jam Pill. it's been a week and okay. two times now on twitter the day it dropped and just this morning before you came uh -huh. so <laughs> it was trending a yeah to you. yeah it was okay. trending on twitter and uh, i'm grateful because it's a different kind of song it's a danceable song it's in the clubs and everything and then you go here to the Boss English, they are you feel me? Oh, t shell. Yeah. You just gonna bring it up. Okay. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you have people yeah. doing a collab in this new one? Yes, uh, Baby Fresh is going to be collaborating with me. He has an amazing verse in the song and he okay. produced it. So, okay. yeah, okay. it's a beautiful song. Is and it the only person? Yeah, it's the only person featuring on the song. Well, let's see how the song does. Somebody else. My jump on it okay. very soon. Okay. So, what so. do you do at your free time? Free time when I'm not in the studio and I'm not listening to music. I love movies. I love to watch movies, and because nowadays now, since my lover dropped, I've not been able to go to the cinema without getting ambushed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I stay at home. I download movies on the system and I watch. I love movies. Okay, Tolu, there been uh, this problem between the band and Don Jazzy. Okay. Are you much aware of it? Yeah, I'm aware of it. Do you see both of them coming back very soon? I think it's between them, you know. Okay. So I try not to say anything about it because it's between two people that have been together for so long. So. But do you think they will come back together? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. It would be amazing if they did, but I, I don't know. 
All right, so nice having you on it. To know I am that Tolu. In Bodex House, we love you so much. Hope we'll get to see you again next time. Absolutely. Sing for us. Because oh, oh. my heart belongs to you, Bodex. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. I love Thank it. You. But are you sure your heart really belongs to Bodex? Yeah, no, you go find out now. Anyway, <laughs> finally, we have come to the end of this episode of Need to Know with Bodex. Yeah. Until next time, please remember to follow us on Twitter at BodexNG, on Instagram at BodexNG, and on Facebook at BodexNG. And for your latest entertainment news, kindly go to our online platform, www.bodexng.com. Do have a nice day. Bye. Peace out. Pretty What's up, people? You're tuned into Bodex NG, and this is Need to Know. For anything you want to know about me, about people like me, tune into this channel. Peace out.